Welcome back to Starship Lockjaw. Today, we have a very special guest with us. We have Brother Astro Sky. Uh, some of you are already familiar with him, others aren't. You're about to get familiar with him. We're going to have a good talk today. What's up, Astro Sky? Hey, how's it going? Pretty good, brother. We're going to talk about some good stuff today. This is going to be some helpful content. I know a lot of you are going to relate to this. You're going to love it. We're going to have a good time. Hold on. Let me, let me do a quick intro here. Lockjaw, baby! All right, we're back now. Okay, Astro, what's going on, brother? Uh, I'm doing better, way doing... better than I was. Yeah, yeah, you've been going through some going through some troubled times, huh? Yeah, man, it's just you know the thoughts. It's like I'm an overthinker, so for me, you know, when I get hung up on something, it's all I can think about, and. It's really like it's like being paralyzed mentally, and you can't, and, and you know you you shouldn't be like going through this, mm -hmm. but you you're just stuck on it, and you're hung up on it, and it's it's kind of hard to handle for me sometimes. So the best way I the only thing I can think of to get rid of it is to sleep it off. And I know that sounds like, but like used to when I was younger, it didn't really help much to sleep it off. You know, mm -hmm. I think as I gotten older, it's just like I've learned. I just feel better when I wake up, you know, and it's not as intense. Yeah. So like a lot of stress. Yeah. Like it's just like thinking about the future, thinking about uh, people. I, I, I'm very sensitive towards like people like it's not that it's hard to explain, really. I mean, I don't know. I'm just getting kind of awkward. Like I, I'm a, I'm sometimes paranoid, mm -hmm. right? About right. certain individuals and i think they're out to get me and i know it sounds really schizophrenic but like it's only it's gotten worse as i gotten older like it's just because i've dealt with people in the past that's turned on me and mm. kind of like throw me under the bus and it's kind of put this bad taste in my mouth towards like making new friends and you know i just i just assume that they they're not actually there to be my friend they're kind of like there to like get what they want from me and then throw me under the bus and it's it's, mm -hmm. it's not a healthy way to think but it's how i think and i can't really help it right now right yeah the outlook huh the outlook on now is that just with people or is it with kind of more things that in your life than oh, just yeah people? a lot of things actually and I, I, that's why i used to say i relate to the elliot rogers because the way he thought is like i can see myself like i don't think about hurting people mm -hmm. but the way he thought like the whole black and white gloom you know, it's the world against like I, I've had moments where I thought like that and yeah. and it scares me sometimes. I'm like, man, like, dude, like if he was alive, we we probably probably could have been friends. I don't know. Yeah. It's just you, it's, you feel like people are against you and you feel like it's the world against you, huh? Sometimes like it, yeah. when I'm bad, when I'm getting bad, when mm -hmm. I feel like my issues are getting bad. That's when it gets, it starts coming out. But mm -hmm. overall, like I've, as I gotten older, it's, I became more chill. You know, I, I feel like I've become more mature, you know, since I went and done a lot of things in my life, I experienced like Honduras, third world countries and stuff. Mm. Like I feel better because of that, like it's changed my whole outlook in a way. Made you so feel I'm more like more grateful, huh? Yeah. Way more. Yeah. yeah definitely. Oh yeah. Yeah, man, it's all these different things that can affect us, affect our mindset. You know, I've I've definitely felt in the past like people were against me too, and and of course there will always be those who are. But what when do you feel better? When do you feel better? When you're in that mindset where you think everyone's against you, or when you when you feel that uh, you know that there's good in people and that there can be good people and good people to have friendships with and connections. Like of course, you know, it's it sounds like a it's a simple. What am I trying to say? It's kind of a dumb question, but you know, when do you feel better? When do I feel better? Yeah. I mean, it's like I know that my thoughts are are delusional. Uh -huh. Like I'm I'm self-aware. That's I think that's the difference between me and Elliot Rogers. Is uh -huh. like I'm a lot, I'm very self-aware about everything I do. So I know what I'm thinking is really delusional. I'm like, this is not something I shouldn't be thinking. And it's kind of like me against myself half the time like i know my i'm my own worst enemy so right. uh the, i sometimes have to logically think myself to i'm better like sleeping you know i'm like okay let's just sleep it off and see what happens if that doesn't help i have to think about it logically in my head like 
I got to know that, hey, this is not, you know, this is not the truth. This is not what's actually happening. And it could be, but I'm saying even if it was, it's my choice of how I react to it. Mm-hmm. So, you know, yeah. I can react negatively or I can react positively and try to cope with it, you know. Right. And, it's like our thoughts, our thoughts can just, they can make us or break us, huh? Yeah, it's like... This is why I can I can in some a- aspects like really relate to people who come from the incel community. Like mm-hmm. I'm not that, but you know at the same time it's like I can get it. You know the black and white, you know nihilistic thinking. It's right. It's, it's powerful, isn't it? It's powerful yeah. if it takes over your your way of thinking, yeah. isn't it? Very like it's like a cancer. It's like it, it can affect you and then you, you're, you're stuck with it until you can get back to where you were. And it takes a long time. Right. Yeah. And the deeper you get trapped into it, it's like the, oh, yeah. the harder it is to get out. And it just, it's powerful stuff and it's dangerous. It's so dangerous. Just, I mean, because of what people can end up doing, but even, even, especially for themselves, you know, it, it can just, the man, that's why I think it's so important that what we do is try to learn about it and kind of understand it and uh because it's it's powerful man it can just destroy people's lives you know but but it's amazing like I get it sometimes uh-huh. knowing the truth about like all, all these things that they call claim truth you know like it's just like they want to figure it out logically kind of like how i do about a lot of my issues but it, there's a point where it's like do you really want to sacrifice you know your happiness you know having some kind of way to as I say, cope, you know, every, like, that's, I, I, that's the thing. That's what they're missing. I think is, you know, they call the Chad's and the Stacy's they're coping too. Mm-hmm. You know, they, 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 if they want to be anything like them, they got to learn to think like them. Right. You know, they got things they deal with, even if it's not what they consider a problem, you know, they cope too. And that's a healthy mindset, not this, oh, it's this way or that way. And, I, and you know, it's copa rope, copa rope. Like, it's not like that at all. I, I kind of think they over exaggerate the red pill. Like, it's not as deep as they say it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, uh, well, what about like their looks? So many of them say that because of how they look, it's going to hold them back. Oh, They're never going to get me, anything like, in it. Uh... Looks, I, I, I think looks give you a, you know, a boost, of course, but it, it doesn't last. It's not going to last long if you haven't figured it out yourself on the side, on the inside. Even for me, people all these all, always saying, "I look good." How do I have issues with relationships? I have issues with relationships because I have mental issues. I have I have disorders. You know, like mm-hmm. I have I I don't even have self worth sometimes, and that causes issues with relationships because because I can't love myself sometimes. It, it's 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 just going to project outwards, and it's it's not. I, all, all I know is looks isn't everything in this right. world. Oh it, yeah, so it's like there's a balance, you know. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I completely agree. Nope. It's not everything. Well, do you do you know? Do you feel like you truly know yourself? Because you said you don't love yourself. Do you feel that you truly know yourself and who you are and what you're really about on the inside? Or do you feel like That's you might a hard not? Question to answer sometimes because, like, I, I can sometimes say I do, mm-hmm. like in the moment. But my ch- myself, like my my whole self, like my my wants, my needs, they change a lot, and and they change on a dime, and mm. it's so. I I don't know. Like, do I accept myself now? Most of the time, yeah, I I could say I'm comfortable with mm-hmm. myself now, but yeah. I don't really think i know myself to a t like most people do that they claim they do like this whole like positivity and stuff Mm -hmm. like i want to be that way but i'm i don't think i i'm i'm fully like cemented like they are like the maturity of that like loving themselves and all that i I don't think i had that yet right well you know i'm sure that most of the people listening to this will say that they're kind of the same way that they don't really truly like love themselves to the level they would like to and uh, I think so much of that is is us not really knowing ourselves, what we're really, you know, the inside. We can get confused by so many things, so many things that bother us and upset us. And and like you're saying, I, I too, I shift from like day to day. Sometimes I shift from thinking this to thinking that. Uh, but of course, I always try to keep negative thoughts, self-destructive thoughts, 
toxic thoughts, you know, not just towards others, but to myself, I always try to keep them, uh, keep them very limited because of how powerful they are if they take over, you know? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's like you got to keep it in check. It's like, yeah, I think everyone has a capability to be bad and everyone has a capability to be good and it's what you choose to do and uh, to, that matters, you know, and, you know, I don't think thinking like most of the insults do these days, you know, they even praise Elliot Rogers, I think. Yeah. Uh, sometimes oh, they, yeah. they say that he's like, he was right. It's like, the, if anything, what he did only caused even more issues with like, you know, the media now portraying them as this and that. Like, mm -hmm. you no, know, they're not making themselves look good. <laughs> necessarily. Right. Yeah. It's only causing more. And then I guess it's kind of like a loop where, okay, well, because they, you know, they're just going to get worse at it. It's like someone has to, I just don't think the way they're going is going to do what they want it to do. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think so either. It's just going to make things worse and worse. And, and I just don't, I don't see any, but you know what works? Well, what I think works is whenever you really can help people overcome all those thoughts because i've just had i've gotten so many stories from people now who were really felt they felt trapped in that kind of situation but they were able to shift their way of thinking and by doing that they start getting the things that they want in their life yeah i mean the way you think can really change the whole tone of your morning you know they say get off get up on the wrong side of the bed mm -hmm. you know you know the way i get up you know, something as simple as a notification from a comment saying I'm a retard or something like that can really set the tone for the rest of my day. That's what's happened to me lately. You know, I'll get oh, a comment yeah. from some random com – I don't even know these people. Like, I, of course, this, I'm going to get that the bigger I get. But, like, just some really mean stuff that has nothing to do with the video. They're just saying some – I don't know. And it just sets the tone of my day. And I'm like, man, you yeah. know, I, got, I, I wanted to have a good day. And now I'm just feeling like – uh, but then sometimes I'll get a morning where someone says, you really helped me. And it just makes me feel like, whoa. And then the rest of the day, I'm like, yeah, I'm feeling good. You know? Hell yeah. Yeah. That energy transfer, man. It's real. It can be so real, you know, by the way, can you, can you tell our listeners who are going to be hearing this? Can you tell them what you do on your channel? Kind of what they can expect to see if they come subscribe to you. I, I, in the past, you know, recent past, mm -hmm. uh, I did a lot of mewing videos and posture videos, things that would, uh, help dumb down the whole mewing con like from dr mew uh it's about tongue posture you know he didn't really make it where other people could understand it layman like really simple ways to get someone into the posture mm -hmm. and to just hold it and the way i figured out is since i'm a singer there's a oh i guess you want me to describe the channel i'm getting off side right Oh, that's all uh, good. By the way, you you know you know this. You're how I actually started learning about mewing. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, yeah, man. So, thank you for that, brother. Without you, I, mean, telling I wanted, me about to, I wanted it, to help you with that, man. Like, uh, you know, I see you doing it, but like, you have to make sure the root of the tongue is engaged. You oh. you want to? That's the that's the that's the only thing that people miss. And if they don't have that engaged. They don't get the full benefit of, you know, the instant benefit where you look better automatically. Oh, the okay. I, I'm doing it right now. I see what you're talking about. The the more you get that engaged, the more mm -hmm. the your hyroid bone that's connected to your routine is going to go up, and that's going to contour your jaw automatically. Oh, that's just okay. Is. Yeah. The second is it over time, I would say, it brings the maxilla, the mid face, and all that forward. That takes years, but it's worth it. Chewing just is like that's gonna take it's easy. It's like building a muscle. You you'll get that in a few months or a week. Sometimes mm -hmm. it depending on how much you want to do it. Okay. Uh, but all those go hand in hand. You can't forget them because if you do, you're gonna have imbalances. You're gonna have issues. People say they have jaw clicking. It's because they didn't work on tongue posture more than they did chewing. Mm -hmm. You know, oh, wow. chewing helps get you to that. You know, <laughs> Brad Pitt jaw, I guess. You know, Hell but yeah. it it can't. Brad Pitt doesn't. Brad Pitt just naturally does this stuff and his tongue posture is good. So yeah. he always does it. 
and he chews, uh, of course, over the years and stuff. I don't oh, think yeah. he potentially chews hard food, but like he, his diet probably is more hard than most people. Yeah. And Hell steaks yeah. and stuff. Well, man, brother. So, so if they subscribe, they can see your older mewing videos. And what about your newer direction you're going to be going? Are you still going to be doing more mewing videos coming up? Or are you going to be doing other things? Uh, I want to because I know that people still don't get it. You know, like I, I kind of, I, I was at this position where I was thinking I've talked everything there was needed to be doing. Like everyone's going to learn it. Uh, they're just, they just know once they watch it, they'll just understand. Cause he's, this thing instantly gets people into posture. And mm -hmm. I was thinking, okay, that's all there is to talk about. But apparently not. You know, people want to see other stuff. They want to see like, f you know, workout stuff, like things like things that I don't really do. But I understand that all of it goes hands in hand, hand in hand. You know, right. kind of like maxing things. Yeah. And oh yeah. I, I definitely want to get into that. And I made an account on looksmax.org. Uh, oh, you're just, on there? just to be on it. Yeah, yeah, just to be on there, just to check out what they do. And apparently, people like me there. You know, they're like, "Oh, I've watched your videos and stuff." I was like, "Oh, I thought everyone was gonna say get out there." I thought, oh, everyone yeah. Was yeah, yeah, nice. Well, that's cool. I'm glad they're glad they're cool, man. You know, you you said that sometimes you wake up and you see the comments that kind of piss you off and get to you, and uh, man, man I, I can relate to you so like much, man. The, the like, same I, thing happened to me sometimes, man. So I tried to not even look at my comments or anything like that until after a good couple of hours in the morning, yeah. because I know if I do, I'm gonna get on there and I'm just gonna see something negative, and it's gonna start my day off the wrong way. And it takes a toll. It can take a toll on you. You know, it's it's easy to say that we're not gonna let things like that bother us, but it's always a lot easier said than done. You know. I went down a lot of YouTubers feel that way. You know, they they say, oh, I don't let negative hate get to me, but I kind of feel like they maybe they started out the same way. Especially right. me, because, man, like, it's like you want to help people, and mm -hmm. then these people just come out and <laughs> say some weird, mean stuff. It's like, man, like, I'm trying to help you, dude. Like, what the heck? Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. It's You know, YouTube is kind of notorious for that. Like, the fact that there's so many people on here who are, I mean, not everybody's mean and shit, but there are definitely lots of people who, that's what they do on here is they just talk shit to people. And, uh, but man, we have to. We just have to try to keep this barrier around us of of peace and love that that shit can't penetrate. You know what I mean? Yeah, right. You know, it's just oh, gotta yeah. keep. Yeah, because so much of it is projection. You know, it's what they feel inside, and that's why they shoot it out at you because they're trying to they're trying to use you as an outlet for their pent up anger. And I understand that because I've done my own fair of share of that when mm -hmm. I was growing up. So yeah. like can't sit there and act like oh well i'm better than that like i'm not you know i get that but they also it's like it's like it, once you've done the bullshit you got to make sure to call people out on the other bullshit so they learn to you know right like, like you can see yourself in that person you're like all right man like i get it like because you know the whole trope of that like you know how that is and right. it's not right and you gotta make see i try to help people when i comment you know there, there was this commenter, I'm not going to mention his name, but he's went on everyone's video that had anything to do about mewing. And he was just uh -huh. calling it retarded, ugly. And then I, I had enough and I sent him a long message. And I haven't seen anything from him since, you know, just yeah. telling him oh, that that's not helping anything. And I don't know. I, I just I just hope he gets it. You know, he got something from that because it's not good to go around on everyone's videos and just. Like, yeah, it doesn't yep. help them. It doesn't help them at all. It just makes it, yeah, it's not a solution. Yeah, I'm sorry about getting off topic. I'm trying to keep it on topic, but my oh, mind no, goes you're everywhere. Good. Yeah, you're good, brother. Man, well, uh, man, let's see. Let's see what else can we, uh, we'll probably be wrapping this up pretty soon, but, um, but, uh, yeah, if you guys aren't subscribed to Astro Sky, go check him out. He's cool, man. He's really cool. He's going to be doing some more. Maybe some more stuff on mewing and uh, let's see. No, before we leave though, do you have anything that you can share with others that has really helped you personally in dealing with what, everything you've been going through? Hmm. Well, other than the sleeping it off, you know, it's like probably like my go-to, but like I understand it's like your outlook. So since I am known in the past at least to be a black and white thinker, because I have borderline personality disorder, uh, it, it, it I really struggle sometimes from a, like sometimes I, I label people as either extremely good or extremely bad, and there's no in between. Mm -hmm. Understanding that black and like the whole 
black pill and blue pill. Like it's not like that at all. And that's another black and white, you know, concept that they come up with. It's not black and white. It's, it's not, it's a gray area. Life is really a mixture and there's truth to some things, truth to others. And like, un, once you're able to get your mind in this gray area, you you feel a lot better. It's not as depressing and it's not as positive, but it's also like, it's real. It's like real life. Like, I feel like that's the real truth is this gray area. And it's like, you can do a lot more with thinking this way than you can thinking in the black pill or the red pill or anything, anything like that. Right. Just, yeah. Yeah. They're very confining, huh? These different ideologies yeah. that people there, uh, they can be very confining and it's unfortunate. And you can't do a lot with being blue pilled either because you're too, you're too fantasy. Like you can't, like you have to be in this gray area to make more progress than you do on any of these extremes. I feel like at least. So, you know, you got to be realistic, but you also got to just be in the middle. Like that's, that's the way I, I view it. Right. Oh yeah. I like it. I like it. I feel like I kind of can see things from different angles too. So it's, we, should, we don't want to limit ourselves, but the incels disagree though. They say I'm the, the blue pilled cuck. Blue pilled cuck. Yeah. <laughs> blue I, I can see cuck. That. Hell yeah. Okay. Well, uh, it's, it's because you're trying to, you know, help a lot of people and they're like, I don't, they don't like that. I don't feel like, I don't feel like they want you to help people to, like, they really think sometimes they want to hold the information to themselves, whatever it is that helps them and make sure everyone fails. Like they don't want to help other people. And yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. You, not, you know, I, I think that the, a lot of them, because, you know, I do different kinds of stuff. Sometimes it's more serious. Other times it's just a bunch of laughs and goofing off and making fun of stuff. So I think what they do is they, they see where I'm laughing and poking fun at the things they say and all that. And they let that just, you know, like you're saying the black and white. They take that and they say, oh, he doesn't care about anybody. He just wants to make fun of us and blah. But it's because they see the black and white. They can't consider the possibility of, hey, maybe we can have fun and joke about silly things, but also yeah. help people. Uh, it's you called know? banter. It's like, yeah. it's like you, that's what a mature person can do. You know, they can joke and they can poke some fun of themselves, you know, laugh about it, you know, make their problems, make this insecurity they have as a joke. So that way they don't feel like it's such a, like a negative no, no, you know, like being able to, you know, if you look in the mirror and laugh at yourself, you know, like have, make it a, make it less serious than you feel like it is. Right. Like. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe that's a problem with certain, uh, some people like the incels and stuff is they take themselves a little too seriously and they can't just laugh and have fun, but it, maybe they're just not capable of it, you know? Yet, at yeah. least like, I got, I'm not going to sit there and say they're unchangeable because like I'm, you know, I feel like. If I if I can get out of the mindset I used to be in, I feel like they can too, you know. Right. Oh yeah. Oh, I know they can. I don't doubt anybody that anybody can change their mindset and improve their life and it's it's awesome when they do. Hell yeah. Well, thank you, Astro. It's been good yeah, having man. you on, brother. Anytime, man. man. Hell yeah. Man, one last time. So tell them, I'm going to have your channel pinned in the comments too, so folks can go subscribe to you and check you out because you got good stuff, brother. I appreciate it, man. Hell like I've yeah. been told that a lot, you know. Like, I, you know, like when you first met, when I first made the video videos, I was thinking, man, this ain't gonna do nothing. Like, this ain't gonna help no one. No one's gonna listen to me. What, what am I doing? Mm -hmm. Like, I, you know, I only had like what a hundred views or something when I first made it, and I, then I kind of just dropped the channel, and I just like I'm not gonna check on it. And then I come back, and I'm like, what the heck happened here? I had right. all these people like help me, and I was like, man, this is good. Like, finally, I'm helping people. You know, oh, like yeah. I wanted to. Yeah, you acted on your idea, and then, hey, it ended up working out, huh? But if you had never yeah. acted on it, then, hey, it never would have. But, uh, but you, had, you, had the, you had the ability to act on it, right? Right. Hell yeah. Definitely. That's what we got to do is act on these ideas. Make things happen. I love it. Hell yeah. Well, all right, brother. I, I love the gaming you're doing, dude. Like, like that's what I want to do, too, sometimes. You know, like when I get my computer. The gaming, the... Oh, okay. You know, yeah, I've been watching that. That's... Good oh, stuff. so you want to do like some? That. Yeah, you want to do some gaming streams? Yeah, man. Like we should do some like duos or something. Like oh, game. maybe we awesome. could. Maybe we could. What do you want? What do you want to play? What do you? What do you know how to play? Like, do man, you know? I to I play? suck at I suck at anything shooting. Like shooting games, shooters. I suck yeah. at those games, I man. Love, like I used to play Fortnite, but like 
anything like players unknown or uh I'm so bad at them. I think they're fun, but I'm so bad at them, man. I mean, there's maybe, other games, obviously. Yeah. That's casual that we could do. Uh, maybe I just need to practice. Maybe I just need to practice, man. Oh, I used to suck, too. So. Hell <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Well, we'll have to see. We'll, we'll come up with something, brother. Oh, oh I saw man. you. I hate calling you out like this. I saw you comment on one of the VR headsets that you were watching. You getting interested on that stuff? I I used to have an Oculus Rift. Oh, you I did? Yeah, it, it's good shit. I mean, I'm telling you, you, get it if you can get it. It's awesome. Oh, Changes nice. your whole concept of what gaming is because it's so different. Oh yeah, so so yeah. My brother's about to get an insane one of those coming up here, so I'm gonna have to be trying it out, man. I'm looking forward to it. Once you get into it, you never want to go back to regular gaming. You oh, you just gonna buy. Yeah. I don't have it anymore. I had money issues and I had to sell mine, but yeah. when I get the money, I am definitely gonna get it again. Hell yeah, brother! Sounds like you ain't kidding. Yeah, Hell yeah. It's awesome. Well, oh, shoot. All right then, Astro. It's been good. I'll catch you later, brother. Um, yeah, man. Anytime. Hell yeah. Let Thanks. me roll a let me roll a outro now, baby. Let's get an outro. Try you can do it. Hey, hey. Catch you some love job. Try service your dad.